whole thing of plastic surgery, the word plastic uh, comes from the Greek plastikos, which means to give shape. In a lot of instances that has to do with crossing some cultural and ethnic barriers. Being Asian, we tend to have sort of bigger hips and bigger thighs. It looks so unproportional. Leading Indian actresses have this ample breast, this nice cleavage. For me, having a bigger cleavage would help. All I really want to do is just sculpture my body into a shape that I like. I have a European shape. The reason for the boob drop is like my body won't even out and I'm going to just look wrong, no matter if I'm black or white. You can't sculpture a body to a different specification if you want. And uh, I give uh, a white person a fuller uh, figure, like a, a black person, and vice versa. A black person make, uh, at least in some features, look uh, more white or more European. People really have the option of uh, custom ma making their bodies in a way. Today, if you're willing to pay, you can cross any racial boundary. Whether you crave a stereotypical, voluptuous black or Asian body, or a thinner, less curvy European shape. Which is something hairdresser Nisha Patel ultimately wants. Being Asian, we tend to have sort of bigger hips and bigger thighs. It looks so unproportional. You just like they have this small top and have this huge bottom and you're short. And you just and you're sure you just walk around like this munchkin person, you know? Nisha's planning her third fat removal operation. You're born with this body shape, and you know, your culture, your whatever, your, my mum's shape or whatever I'm born with. I'm just like my mum, I think, but I don't see the harm in changing it if you're not happy. Because deep down I'm not happy and I want to change it. My bum, my hips, my thighs, my legs, sort of all of that area really. I do feel that I want to be smaller. In contrast, lingerie model and Vicar's daughter, Anna Edwards, wants to look more Asian. 100% white, Anna's a Bollywood actress. And then the producer says to me, now here's your, your special friend. And I look over and there, sure enough, is this snake basket. I'd never come across a six foot python like this, face to face, and it was, I mean, its body was massive. Um, as you can imagine, when it was draped across me, its tail started at my feet, and it was right across my legs and my chest, and, and right up until it had its face right on my, um, on my cheek here, and it had its forked tongue going in and out of my ear, and I was, ooh. It was all rather hysterical and typically Bollywood. So far, Anna has only had minor roles, but she's been offered a job which could make her a big star. I have been talking with the producer about doing a lead role and possibly playing wife or girlfriend of Akshay Kumar. So it'd be like featuring with Arnold Schwarzenegger or something, or straight into a film with George Clooney or something like that. But Anna knows she'll only get the big job in Bollywood if she has a breast enlargement. She feels her body is not curvy enough for the Indian market. It's a problem she suffers when modelling for Asian magazines here. Leading Indian actresses that I've met and worked with, quite a lot of them have this ample breast, this nice cleavage, which is something that I'm finding it harder and harder to achieve. Hi, Anna. Hi, nice nice to, meet to meet you. I understand you're doing uh, Bollywood movies. Yeah, I've done, I've done two movies now. 
portfolio you have here is great, but obviously we have to see you in Asian outfits. I have to see you in those and then see how you look in that because okay. um, Asian models have more of a fuller exactly. figure and I just yeah. have to see how you fit in those. Yeah, that's fine. The Indian female body is seen as beautiful and it's yeah, voluptuous. Yeah, yeah. It's you know, it is a big cleavage. I think that needs maybe pinning in the back. The sari tops and everything that they were putting in were all kind of too baggy. And finding that all of those tops had to be pinned in to fit me. I think having a bigger cleavage would help. Yeah. Lap dancer Tracy Pastano wants to make the break into glamour modelling. It's a marketplace hungry for her mixed race exotic looks. But Tracy's body isn't quite exotic enough. So she's having a breast enlargement. I just think I'm mixed. I mean, I've got mixed blood in me. I like that. I like the fact that people cannot determine what I am. That they, they're like, what have you got in you? There's not a day that goes by that they say to me, what are you? Because I don't know what I am myself. The reason for the boob job is like, my body won't even out and I'm going to just look wrong. That's it, I've just got the Jamaican ass. My top half isn't as big as my ass. I feel more proportioned if I've got big breasts to match my big black ass. Tracy's operation is only days away. She hopes it will give her the fuller, blacker shape preferred in the glamour world. The good thing is because of your slightly more exotic look, you're not what I call um, typical Caucasian blonde. You know, you've got a very distinctive look about you. Um, I think you'll find that I work to your advantage. With respect, although you've got a good body shape, you would never be able to do much glamour work without a, a breast enlargement. Mm. I think more white people tend to be thinner, thinner bone. I think black people are more bigger bones. I've always liked the curvy shape. Would never have liked to be thin, like straight down. What's the zoom now? Show me, show me. Because you're, it's too light. You've got, you've got, you've got the, you've got the tissue there. Yeah, it's uh, my main fear that I'm gonna like look down and be like, oh my god, what the fuck have I done? Yeah. Why the you fuck will. did I do it? Everybody's done that. I've known like yeah. six girls I've had there. So always. Just get that. used to it though. You've got to get used to it, you know. And they will be swollen, so don't be deceived by the size that they are when they come off. Yes. But the most beautiful girls don't make the most money. The girls who feel the best exactly. about themselves do. Exactly. Yeah. Well, until you know exactly what you want up here, a boob job is not going to change or uh, a nose lift or anything. It's still you. Good. Nisha is trying to change her body shape through exercise, but it isn't working. I'm battling against my body <laughs> um, constantly, constantly trying to lose weight. Big push. I've got one more now, just one more. Big push, big push, big, 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 big. And I've got. Well, I go to the gym to do my own workout, and then I've got a personal trainer. Which I train, he, which he trains me hard. On Wednesday, I go for taekwondo. I do martial arts. I think I've got a long way to go again, but I, I work really hard. I calculated about 11 hours a week. I've worked so much harder since I've had the second one done to try to reshape myself. It, it's not going to happen. I know that for a fact. It's not going to happen. If I'm eating healthy foods and I'm training. Why isn't it coming off? Why am I still the size I am? I just think, you know, it's just really strange. It's Tracy's operation day. The cost? £3,000. Fucking hell. <laughs> Fucking shit. I'm really shitting it now. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, what are these? <laughs> no way. I am not wearing these. Do I have to wear these? What's yeah, this? That's, they're disposable knickers. I can't wear them. I can't do that. <gasps>
Anna's having her last medical consultation. This is the biggest implant in my table, I'll show you. And this is the smallest implant in my table. If you look at it, see, the width of it. Anna's operation is only a week away. So my first choice for you is the round <coughs> textured silicon gel. It also gives you a better cleavage. If you feel that, it feels closer to your brush feeling. Mm. That's what I recommend. That. that feels the most natural. And the most important thing I must warn you, it's a good, gentle improvement, not perfection. You got your tops on, yeah? Mm -hmm. We'll try that one. The cutting the right position is very important, that's fine. And you have a look in the mirror. This mm -hmm. is a very crude trial, as I told you, it's like a mm. communication <laughs> trial. In this trial, they always look bigger. After the surgery, they do go flatter, if I show you, like that. Mm -hmm. If you turn around and see, see how they go mm -hmm. in the mirror? And then the other side, if you turn around, if you put your arms down and see, it's going to flatter. I really want to try and make a go of doing this glamour, like working, being, doing that. So I want to do tasteful stuff, not like top shelf. Because once I've had my breasts done, then hopefully I can make money. This is the anaesthetic room, Tracy. The anaesthetist will be with you in a minute. OK, thanks. Okay, sharp scratch now in the back of your hand, Tracy, all right? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's normal to be a little nervous right now. Perfectly natural to be scared, okay? I'll be there when you wake up, okay? It will start to feel very woozy in a second. The white uh, woman is, uh, in general, thinner, with less white hips and uh, less full breast, whereas the black woman is fuller in the hips and in the breast. Well, Tracy, she's kind of a mix. She has full hips, but on the upper body, she's not as full. There is a little bit of imbalance between the two. You can say that she's maybe missing a little bit from the black in her breasts. Giving her a little more of her black heritage. It's like the reverse of a birth. <laughs> I love clothes and I keep buying and buying and buying and buying. As you see, I buy lots of colourful clothes. I like, I do like colour. Nisha's got the perfect body for Asian clothes, but she doesn't want to wear them. This is a sari. Now this, apparently, everyone has told me I don't wear saris. Who, what I am, my culture, saris is what we meant to wear, and I suppose I'm the perfect figure for a sari because it looks really good. It hangs really well. And it's sort of really figure hugging. That's what it meant to look like, and that's what I look like. Supposedly, I should be wearing saris because it suits my figure, but I don't like my figure. The clothes Nisha wants to wear, the Western ones, don't fit her. Now you just look huge, humongous, and I've had stuff like that. I can't wear skirts. I can't wear skirts. You know, I can't show my legs. I mean, I don't have very nice legs at all. They're disgusting, as a matter of fact. I hate them. And he's out looking after Jerry Halliwell all day today, so he can't come. OK, well, maybe I'll be back by then, anyway. Look, you need to come over and see me later on this Sweet afternoon, because I need to talk to you about the erotica show. I've still got all the outfits. Um, apparently, the, the photographs have come I don't know. Oh, yeah. Absolutely fantastic. You've been framed. Anna's meeting her agent, Janie O'Connor, who thinks her operation is a bad idea. 
and my boobs have just dropped just like every other day. Didn't you wear like support bra? No, because you're always wearing costumes and mm. things like that. A lot of dancers get it. Dancers droop. <laughs> Is that what they call them? Mm. Mm. What was it that made you first say, right, that's it, I'm going to have a boob job? Um, After just all this time, when you're really doing well and you're successful and you've been in three Bollywood movies, why now suddenly say, right, now I need a boob job? Looking at what they see as beautiful and the lead actresses in the Bollywood films um, who all have big cleavages and slim mm. hips is something, you know, that's desirable as well as the the cleavage. Wait, You're the not flat chested dancing. though. I'm not flat chested, no, but I'm not a perfect shape. That's not the right reason it to do it. It is important to me, the image that I have, and, and obviously... As long as you're I'll not going to regret it afterwards. I just want you to be... I'm not trying to talk mm. you out of it. I just want you to be 100% sure before yeah. you do it, that's all. It's the day of Nisha's operation, her third in a year. What we can do is remove fat to give it a shape within reasonable limits. Now, I carried out your first stage of liposuction, and that time I did the buttocks and inner thigh, and we got approximately 6.8 litres out, and wanted to be readmitted in July for further liposuction to the back area. Yeah. And again, in July, we carried out the liposuction to the buttocks and inner thigh. OK, fine, no problem. You have had liposuction in this area. Yeah. You had liposuction in the inner thigh, but nothing has been done here. So we can even this out on your right leg. That's no problem. So basically what it is, you've got a treated area and then untreated yeah. area. OK, fine, no problem. And then it's the inner. Yep. What, sure. That, sure. <laughs> yeah, I'm just sure. going to emphasize, like, that yep. has to go and yep. that has to yep. go. There will always be some irregularity of the contour. It's like I want to have that one more done. I want to, I want to, want to, want to. <laughs> I want to have it done. You know, I hope in, I thought the second one was my last one. Cause you know, friends and that, oh, is this your last one? I'm like, yeah, I'll just work at myself now. But after seeing the results of the last one, I think maybe one more, just to be 100% happy. Nisha, she is also concerned a bit about her hips. Um, I've told her that this is her genetic makeup. She's got bigger hips, the bones are much bigger, and nothing can be done about it. Now, are we primed? Mm -hmm. Okay, thanks. In this day and age, we're buying clothes off the peg, where they come in a standard size, and we have to fit into that. Rather than the dresses being made, they are aiming for the same shape. But at present, Everybody wants to be fat-free, more athletic, and streamlined look. I've done a small amount of liposuction, which is roughly about 400 mils. It should give her more streamlined effect. A day before her operation, Anna meets her best friend, Luke. <laughs> this time tomorrow, I'll be coming round. Oh, God. Oh, I do it. No, you'll be all right. Just take it easy straight away. Let's hope there's no phone call tomorrow. It's all gone wrong. <laughs> <laughs> I doubt it. I I left doubt with one it. boob. <laughs> <laughs> I hope I'm not that one percent. The one in 1,000 that goes wrong. Just days after her operation, Tracy's back for an urgent consultation. This one is, this. if I was both like this, then I would be OK, but, but they're not. This one is like much smaller and my nipples down there. It's just a different shape. It's not much. No, but they're two different shapes. I can't. Yeah, I'm gonna settle down, won't they? I bloody hope so. Oh, they will be big. You've got big, huge cleavage. 
the left is smaller. You, smaller, you can yeah. see it's smaller. You've got a definite, definite difference in size, okay? But that, as I say, that could be due just to the sw tissue swelling. It could be due to the changes that are going on okay. in the recovery period. Right. Uh, let's wait, okay, and give it a, another week or two. <coughs> Trust me, okay? You've got to give the it's a little bit of time for the tissues to settle down right. and the swelling to subside, okay? This is such my luck. Do you see what I'm saying? I've got the luck of a git. I just I feel I feel you can probably sort of see the difference anyway because you can, you can it's not it like a huge area they've been working on. I know what I'm looking at, mm. and it's looking like a bit more sort of shapely instead of that there and then that there. It was looking really chunky, so it's, it's gone much you get smoother. Your tree trunks they don't look like tree trunks anymore. Oh look what we have here, Nisha. <laughs> oh my God! When you were in the operating theatre, oh. they actually told me the fat is lighter, so it'll go rise up to the top. Oh. Oh, oh my god. There you go. Oh my god. It Too looks bad. like a cocktail, seriously. Oh, don't say that. <laughs> so next time when you want to have some sweets and you know. No, I don't. I don't. I know you um, don't. I won't um, deprive myself of anything. I don't know what that is on top. I don't know. I mean, that's the fat, you can see it, but what's all that oily stuff on top? You didn't even eat much last night. <laughs> I had my side salad. Lillian English is a mixed race woman with a mixed race body. Raised in a white community, she's unhappy with her body shape and doesn't even know where it comes from. I was adopted when I was six weeks old. Um, raised in a totally white family. I was brought up to think that I'm not black, but then um, a lot of people that I met called me black, said that I was black. Um, it was a bit confusing. I've never really considered myself to be black or white. There was a little bit of confusion when growing up, I suppose, yeah. Little hurtful things that stick, probably all those little things that have helped me turn into what I am now. All I know is that my father was Jamaican, my mother was English. Um, she had to give me up for adoption because her parents wouldn't let her have a baby. Probably got a family, children, a life of her own. Um, but I just want to meet her and ask a few questions, learn a few things. You know, if I get, if I get a friendship out of it, that's great. I'm curious as to what shape she is. I don't think I've got Caribbean features. I don't think I've got your typical British shaped body. I'm not really pear shaped. I just want to solve a few of my curiosities, that's all. Lillian craves a thinner, more European body shape, and she's having liposuction in a matter of days. I'm going to have my back done. Um, I'm going to have my hips done, love handles. <laughs> um, my upper stomach, my lower stomach, my inner thighs, and that's all of it. I would have had more done if they, could, if they would do more, but I don't think they will all at once. So. Um, yeah, they're the areas that I'm not happy with. They're the areas that stop me looking feminine. I think it's totally uncalled for. I think she's brilliant the way she is. I don't think it's necessary at all. I mean, she's a babe, you know, I mean, it's just not necessary. Not necessary because I hate myself or anything. I just want to feel good wearing trousers. I'm not ready to be a size 16 yet, which I'm having to wear, and I'm not happy about that. I don't like it. It's just the way she is in here about herself. It's the way women are portrayed. You're supposed to be like walking skeletons for some reason. Don't ask me why. It's not attractive. I just want my waistline back. I mean, that's not, that's not demanding too much. It's not demanding to be skinny. I just want to feel good wearing trousers. I don't even consider you as a large woman. I don't. 
Nothing wrong with her at all. What's the time now? That's fine. Two hours. What I really love about the whole Bollywood film scene, being treated like stars from the minute we arrived, you know, we were picked up in gorgeous cars and, and you know, there were men on hand to carry your luggage. You know, it was all fantastic. I think my goal at the moment would be to play a lead role opposite a really big star. So I'm going to give more fullness on the top and inside to give a better cleavage and increase the size as well by doing that and also define the shape better. The size is written on the back of the implant. Three, fifty. And that's a round, high profile. This is a little technique. The more you do, the more you, it's easy. Takes less than 30 seconds. And the test is, it has to wobble. If it tips like that, that means it doesn't got enough pocket. So you just put your fingers again, check it, and move nicely. And now you just bring it as if you're having a cleavage. Push up bra, see how it is sitting. And then lift up. How is it On the sides. There's no fold. It's a natural shape. Now it's fuller, a bit more nice shape, and slightly lifted up. It will help Anna to have an Asian dress fits better. Asian dress like blouse and saris. You cannot camouflage as like the other things, you see. This is one of my photo collections when we went to Rome. It's me and Mick sitting at the fountain of Trevi. And um, as you can see, I just got, when well, as soon as I got that photo developed, I just um, got a black mark pen and scribbled myself out. I was so horrified. I really, I saw this little roll of fat under my, under my arm. And I, and I just thought, no way. Mick said, you're not going to throw that photo away. So I scribbled myself out. That's me and Mick in our beef farm. I had a great time out there, and then I got this photograph back. I just absolutely lost the plot. I just ripped it up, screwed it up, threw it on the floor, jumped on it. It, it just seems like the end of the world to me. It really does, and I can't believe I can't believe that I, I'm carrying these rolls of fat on, on my body. This is just one of my hate myself days. Great, nice, big smile. A month yeah, after Tracy's operation, and her breasts are still yeah, out of shape. Slightly. But that hasn't stopped her from taking a job modelling for a tabloid newspaper. For Tracy, it's a big break. I, I would say is if that doesn't drop down, have that corrected. But I think you'd be silly to have it all done again. It is exotic. People are demanding more and more of, of girls of mixed race, oriental girls, and whatever. But uh, it, it is more exotic, obviously, because there's not many of them that will do it. And I suppose that's what inspired Tracy to, to actually do her boobs and see if she can make something out of her career. Stay as you are. Go for it. Nice smile. Good. Breathe in, breathe in. Come on, don't forget all these things. Good. Good. Go the other way around. Try not to keep your chin too high. I think my body looks absolutely brilliant though. I love it. The weight doesn't bother me. It's the shape. I think from my thigh to my thigh, I was about that big. And now it's like, you know, I'm like sort of, you know, sort of that big now. And, you know, that to me, from like that to that is like, quite a lot. A much more confident Nisha now prepares for her 24th birthday party. 
With her more European shape, she's able to fit into the clothes she's dreamt about. But she still has to face her friends. After months of trying, Lillian's finally tracked down her biological mother. She's one step closer to finding out where her body shape comes from. Hello, it's Lillian. Oh, I've just thought about it for so many years. I'm so glad that you're still alive and everything because I was worried that maybe I'd left it too long. <sighs> How do you feel talking to me? All right, but, um, I feel ever so nervous. And just thank you so much anyway. And I'll see you about 12.30 then. All right then, bye. Bye. Wow. <laughs> she doesn't even sound anything like I thought she'd sound. I don't know, look at my hands. You've spoke about it enough, haven't you? I oh, know. It's, it's going to be a good day today. <laughs> Today's going to be a good day. I can't believe it, I just spoke to my biological mum. I didn't ever think... I'm so intrigued to see what shape she is. I can imagine her having huge, huge breasts and, um, I don't know, being, being quite, um, quite large and stocky because I don't know anything about my natural father, so, um, so I, don't, I, I can't imagine that I look like him. Um, I don't know, it's just, it's just you could ask these questions all day long and I won't know until I see her, will I? I'll, I'll bet actually you've got like lots and lots of things in common. I, I don't bet know. You I hope so, I do hope so. I, I just so much want to know, has she got a slim waist, has she got a wide waist? You know, I want to know where I get it from. If she's really petite and with a slim waist, then I think, well, there's no way that I look like you. <laughs> you know, there's no way <laughs> I've got anything from you at all. Operations, one year and 12 litres of fat later, Nisha's finally happy. You've been embarrassed, you know. should all feed her one by one. No, what do you think, no. guys? Yeah. <laughs> you could go around each and every one. <laughs> oh, you're about. Oh, Nisha. Oh, oh, Nisha. Oh, Nisha. Oh, Nisha. Oh, Nisha. Six weeks after her operation, Anna's off to a photo shoot for an Asian lads magazine. So Anna, you know um, last time I spoke to you doing um, Hindi lessons? Yeah. How's that going? Not too bad. Yeah. Have you learned to say, no, Mr. Producer, I'm not going to sleep with you? Yeah. <laughs> I knew that one. That was the first thing I learned yeah, before I learned hello. It's, it's quite a well-known thing that in Bollywood you have such a thing as a casting couch. I mean, obviously, you're lucky, do you think, to have big breasts and... Hmm. Luck could be the word. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but personally, I think, if you asked any guy what would you rather have, some sort of six-foot, anorexic-looking catwalk model, or somebody who's slightly more voluptuous with, you know, it works for me, that's the main thing. <laughs> <laughs> Hold for, 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 for your average Asian bloke, it's, it's being... It's quite exciting to find a woman that fits the sort of FHM image. But hey, she's one of us. You know, she'll sleep with us. It's great, she'll go out with us. You know, so... Um, someone like her is just like gold dust as far as we're concerned. There's a, lot, there's a lot of them out there. Someone like Anna who's prepared to reveal more than... <laughs> reveal more than uh, what is um, socially acceptable. It's great because you know, we're one step closer towards 
well, having sex with her, which is basically what magazines are all about. With a bra size of 34D, success for Anna. But will her new body shape work in Bollywood? Next stop, Bombay. I mean, hopefully there's going to be a difference when I'm meeting people. Um, but you never know. I mean, I think it's all down to how you come across anyway. Lillian arrives with the whole family for her operation. I don't think he's going to do all the areas today because he can only take up to five litres out at one time. So I'd much rather he just um, concentrated on a couple of areas, took out five litres and then when I come back, take out five litres from the other areas. Ready for action? It's more like vacuum cleaning. But it is a blind procedure. It's like somebody once said, it's like chimney sweeping. You don't see anything and you're just doing by guesswork. I wouldn't like to lose my cultural identity, which reflects in my body shape. If you look at historically, the caveman who lived about 40,000 years ago, the basic bone structure is still the same as it was that time. But what has changed is distribution of fat from voluptuous look, getting into a period where we want, all want a muscular look with Fat is not acceptable. Now finish the back. You can see the difference in contour. We can hold the skin like this, which I couldn't do before. It's a reasonably good contour. This evening, I can promise you, she'll be so happy once the garments are put. She has got a beautiful waist. I think uh, roughly we talk, took about six litres total liposuction, of which I think four litres is about fat. Two months after her operation, Anna's in India for an audition with a Bollywood producer. She's getting an instant reaction to her new body shape. I guess over in our country you have builders who might leer off their scaffolding. There'd be men just stopped and <laughs> stared. So, um, which is all good fun. I don't mind the attention. I'm, <laughs> I'm sure most girls wouldn't. I guess they were staring at what every man would stare at. <laughs> The day after her operation, Lillian reveals her new body. Um, I feel absolutely fantastic. Um, I've got padding all around me. I'm swollen ever such a lot and still I look a lot smaller. I can't wait to see what I'm going to look like in a month's time. I feel like I've stepped out of some suit that I used to wear or something. I, I can't explain how good I feel. I've, I haven't felt this good in years, I feel fantastic, I really do. Lillian was a dress size 16, now she's a 12. I don't feel ugly, I don't feel fat, I don't feel like I'm going to punish myself every time I eat something, I feel fantastic. Well, I don't see these great big love handles here, I can feel a lot of padding. <laughs> um, I don't see this tummy that sticks out, um, I'm slimmer. Best £4,000 I ever spent. Oh, 
Today, Tracy's photo shoot is published in a tabloid newspaper. Oh, my stomach is going. I feel like I'm going to puke my guts out. Oh, my God. That's not even a nice picture! Oh, my God! And why did they lose one with all the gold in my face? Oh, my God! Oh, my God. I fucking can't believe it. I don't like this picture. You can blatantly see that one tit's bigger than the other. That's a decent one. I don't even want to read it. I feel sick. I feel fucking sick. I'm screwing. Should Tracy go bigger or stay as she is? Ring. What is this? This is a fucking freak out. The scary spice look alike. I fucking look fuck all like Mel fucking B. Just because I'm mixed race and got curly hair. Is that how they portray every mixed race person? Oh, now everyone that's got curly hair is fucking like a Mel B look alike. I fucking can't believe it. Lillian's meeting her biological mother today for the first time. Finally, the ethnic puzzle of Lillian's body shape will be solved in a meeting we've been asked not to film. I don't suppose she's expecting me to be a builder from Brighton, is she? I don't want to call her my mum because she's not my mum. When you say mum, I think of me mum. And I've won so much for her to know, not to feel guilty, and my life's been fine, very full, and everything's as it should be. It's the day of Anna's audition with a top Indian producer. It's quite an exciting offer to get. It would be a real step on from the other roles that I've done. Action! Six months is a long time, OK? You're going to change over that time. You're going to be eating with these people and living with these people. You're going to be sat eating with producers and directors. Action. Rahul, you are a good girl. Say with me. Rahul, you are a good girl. A good girl. You are a good girl. 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 Say one line at once, you know, like... To see. 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 Van Tumara. Say that again. Tumaro. Good, great. You're fast now. Okay. God, I have to say I've never done an audition like that before. <laughs> Lillian's just met her biological mother. Well. How did it go? Oh, fine. Yeah, she's she's quite an off person actually. No, I was talking for ages, and 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 then when it was when it was really when it was silent, that was okay too. It was just staring at each other, <laughs> you know. Lillian's concluded that her body doesn't come from her biological mother, who is European shaped, but comes from her Black Caribbean father. I obviously look absolutely nothing like my biological mum. <laughs> you know, her boobs aren't huge either, so like I thought they'd be. So um. 
I don't think that I've got anything at all from my figure, from um, my biological mother's side of the family at all. I think definitely I probably am just totally like my biological father or someone in his family. Certainly nothing like anyone in, in my mother's family. I don't know, I'm just very, very surprised. Very surprised. I thought, I did really think I'd look like my mother and I don't look nothing like her at all. So there's a man out there somewhere, if he's still alive, <laughs> who perhaps I look just like him and um, hopefully he's not aged too badly. <laughs> it's decision time for Anna. See, Anna, you have a lot of charm and you have a lot of energy in, in your body, in your persona. As an actress, and this is a great quality. But to be Indian actress, you, I think you should study how Indian artists speak, how they emote. For dance numbers and for uh, cameo role, you are perfect. That's what I feel. Okay. Thank you very much. Anna's been offered only a cameo part, not the big role she craved. Her body shape may fit the part, but her Hindi doesn't. But for Anna, it's all been worthwhile. I think having the operation has definitely, definitely been worth it. A curvy body is definitely a more desirable one. I'd say I'd defy any man who thinks they would rather a natural, saggy old pair to these. People would prefer to look at that than a couple of pancakes shoved into a dress. Anna's still pursuing her Bollywood dream. She's working on her Hindi and loves her new Indian look. A voluptuous hourglass figure is an attractive thing. I guess that is, it is an important thing in India. Um, the body is an important thing. Since filming, Nisha has had another operation. She says this one is definitely the last. I can see that I'm smaller. I'm happier. But now, changing body shapes is like, I've, I am who I am. You know, I'm accepted myself. Tracy's finally given up on a career in glamour modelling, but she's planning another operation. Because I've got my characteristic down here is like black, like my bum and hips and that. Like my shape up here is just smaller. I just feel like I can just go bigger. Lillian still keeps in touch with her biological mother and she's more than happy with her new body shape. I don't think I have a European shape <laughs> at all, but um, I seem to have developed one through the liposuction anyway. <laughs> um, I don't know if that was what I was looking for, I just wanted a slimmer waist. 